So uh, it's great to be here, really. I was at school all day and then I'm here with, with all of you. And Navigado was a great, great project. Really. I've been just following it for since the beginning from our Ministry of National Education. And today here I am going to tell you um, what, the role of the technology in active learning. So uh, let me go a little back. Oh, no, I'm up. No. No, sorry. It's here. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm going back. Oh, OK. So, yeah. And then um, what we have today, what I have today for you is just um, the content is uh, how do we learn and what is active learning, the importance of technology in active learning and the role of technology, why it is important and what role it carries out while we are learning in in active learning environment and then we will have q a and then uh, i'll just try to just uh, go with my time as far as possible so um alina has already told about me i'm uh, the turkish ambassador for turkish local ambassador for future classroom lab and also i'm involved in a lot of european projects also my own projects as well I design courses for the Ministry of National Education here in Turkey, and also um, I, I'm an e-learning expert for for evening and European School Net. And soon we are going to have another uh, course. It's related to blended learning and blended learning tools, actually. Um, so soon we'll be all together again. Once again, uh, thank you for being here and. Uh, I'd like to start my to my presentation with a um, poll, actually. So the poll is about how do we learn? So uh, I am going to stop my presentation and then open another page uh, to see the poll. But you can you can just use QR code or um, just to go to Bitly link to 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 see the poll and. Um, so just a moment, please. Oh, it's here. You'll be seeing this page. Do you want me to go back to that QR code and link again? If yes, please. I put the link in the chat so people Thank can you so click, much. click there. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear Alina. And here the, the question is, which is more effective when learning new things? So I have some options for you. When you go to the link, you'll be seeing this page, and uh, you can just just uh, click on one of the one of the options, and then we will see the result. Let me go as well. So um, I still, oh yes, I have I have some answers. So thirty three percent of the of the participants say doing, and sixty seven percent of the participants say all items listed above. Yeah. Yeah, you you are right. Let me just see in another way. This it will be more clear. Oh yes, we have sixty five point two percent of the participants say all the items listed above. And yeah, why we learn things actually, we 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 really use all of them. Thank you so much. Maybe if we have time, we can just come back here and just uh, observe the results again. And let me again go back to my presentation and we'll be starting to. Uh, all right. And OK, thank you so much for your kind answers. So let me start with Einstein. So Einstein, once Einstein said while he was a child, he of course, like any of us, he went to school and at school he was really unhappy. So uh, in one of his saying, he said, the only thing that prevents me from, from, from learning is my education. So what was the problem with that? You can also just listen to me and then you can write your options on the chat box, maybe for the others to, to let me present it again, sorry. Uh, yes, okay, what was the problem? You know, in 19, it was, it, it, it's also the, the, 
at the time when he was living or when he lived was the almost 18th century or the beginning of the, the, the 19th century. And at that time, there was only factory model education and the teacher was the source of the source of the knowledge. And in the classroom, uh, there were no interaction, no collaboration, collaboration and no uh, any kind of activities that students just just um, do or uh, or collaborate with each other. But the, the only thing they do just stand still and sit upright and then um, listen to the teacher and answer some questions asked by the teacher and then the, 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 the time was over and after a week and nothing was remembered by the students as well. And even when the, when the exam time was, the, so the students crammed everything and then and after another week, all the things again was uh, forgotten. So um, the problem was here. Actually, if, if, we, if we just look at the Walter, he said that the secret of being a bore is just to tell everything. So the, as I told you in the previous slide that the, the teacher was the center of the class and center of the knowledge. He told everything to the students and students just listened and listened and listened without doing any activities, any collaborative activities or even any single activities. And then they got bored. So is that your student really here? Uh, I can just hear that you say, no, it's not my student, but it's not my students as well. So it's a neither. So my students are always active in the classroom. I, I'm sure your students are active in the classrooms as well. So uh, as a teacher, we should, if we just give students some some time, not not use the whole lesson time for for ourselves and try just give them the opportunity to do something, they will not be going off that day, and they will remember. They always remember what they do in the classroom, actually. And uh, from this, and again years later. Uh, Einstein just grew up and went to higher schools and became a teacher and professor at universities. And then he said, I never teach my pupils. I only provide the conditions in which they, they, they can learn. So what, what he, he just found through that years, he just found the secret of learning actually. So he just maybe used the, 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 the tools of the time he was in and he gave the students just to express themselves or he just created some kind of uh, activities, pedagogical activities for his, his students or just to show themselves, just the skill building or just interact with each other, with each other and learn from each other. So he, he found the secret of learning really and lasting learning actually. And so, are these your students? That this, this was that Einstein did with, with his students actually. So what he did was he created some opportunities for his students just to, just to interact with each other and just to use the time, the, the tools of his own time and, and uh, just collaborate and just try to construct their own knowledge. So are these your students? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you, you're saying yes, these are our students because we are living in the 21st century and we have something secret. We have something, but now for now it is secret, but it's, it's really obvious. We have very interesting things that always motivate our students, but even we are living in the, in the 21st century, we still have some classes around the world that they are still teacher dependent. But of course, we should be teacher dependent in some ways, but not, not all actually. So um, we want our teachers just to be our guides, just to guide in lights to, to find our ourselves and to realize ourselves. So uh, the, the, the critical question is here, just uh, let me just ask you, what is the vehicle driving students to be such motivated? But I have some even clues here. Uh, the, 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 the driving, the vehicle driving here for the students is the engagement. 
So engagement is one of the one of the most important component of active learning. If if the why it is important, it, so if the students are really engaged in the curriculum or really engage in the in the in the subject that the teacher just delivering that day, they feel more more what motivated and if they are included the, in the process of the lesson and learning learning process, then they they, they would be active and uh, they will just uh, in some way or another they would just try to show their all skills but within their capacity. But of course, the activity can just uh, build some kind of skills as well. And so um, they, they, they take part in different kinds of activities. And another important driving vehicle is here, they use technology in our present time. So technology is one of the, one of the important, um, most important components. So active learning for now, because it just simplifies learning and then learning just occurs not only within four walls in the in the classroom, but everywhere, even in 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 in, in, in on the bus or on the train or and and even the students just feel very comfortable and motivated in the in the classroom, and um, they feel the sense of belonging actually, and recently there there has the, the educational experts are just discussing a very interesting issue and they are just discussing that if our if or not our now our, our educational system now alienating our students to schools so just think that we are just in the 21st century and we have technology even we, we just carry the whole world in our pockets we have mobile phones but still at school the students are just um, trying to learn things in a very traditional way so um, they don't need to go to school anymore and that's why the school leaving and the, the, the students who are registering enrolling to open uh, open schools open educational institutes are increasing day by day and so uh, that's why the, the experts are just thinking our education system now is just alienating our students to schools so um, the students they are the students of the 21st century almost we are getting the half of it and and still we have uh, the dominance of the teacher for a whole class hour in the class and students are just listening and just answering a few questions and then leaving the school so this is not the way they learn anymore because they 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 can learn everything easily just within within a few clicks or um, just uh, just pushing some kinds of uh, buttons and they can learn everything so we have to as teachers we have to find new ways to motivate them to engage them in the class just to uh, just just to just to show them the way to to build their own knowledge and and skill building as well. And if we have a look at the principles of active learning, there are very interesting also items here. But I will just um, just uh, go over a few of them. Like uh, learning is an active process. So just think Einstein's time. He was not active in the classroom. He would just sit and stand still and just listening to the teacher. And he could not show his or either show or, or improve his skills at school. So the, the education was not active then. And here um, he just listened to the teacher and he didn't do anything. And he just memorized and then forgot anything. So he couldn't maybe build any skills during his uh, let's say primary or secondary school time and so uh, uh, when we just have a look at the poll you just answered almost 65 percent of the people were just uh, saying that we learn by doing things and seeing and all the components of learning they, they were just using and here the blue the the, the blue box said people learn to learn as they learn yes if, if if we are in a process of learning 
we just learn, have to run, learn daily, but it, it, it's like a, a, a tongue twister. And learning is uh, in the yellow box, the physical actions and hands-on. So if, if you want a lesson learning in your classes, whatever subject that we are teaching as a teacher, so we should have some hands-on experience. We should give students some hands-on experience. You can take, it could be something technology or manual things. So students, one way or another, should be a part of the learning process in a classroom or during the school time, maybe. And also here, I added this here, learning is meaningful with the tools of its time. And um, I cannot see the chat box, but I would just ask you this question. What is the tools of our times? What, 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 what is the, uh, let's say, magnificent tool we have in our time just makes everything easier uh, for us, really? So that is this. This, uh, this is the diagram I created a few, a few years ago, just before it was Corona. I, uh, pandemic starting. So here you can see we have um, a very magnificent thing in our hands anymore, and that is technology. Just in the, just, just remember the skills uh, for long were just mentioned. Four C's of 21st century skills are critical thinking, creativity, communication, and collaboration. And now uh, a, a, as the time passes, as we go forward, some new new skills are added to the list because technology dominates everything in our life. It's, it's already uh, it already does that, but it will be more in the in the in the coming days. We will have web web three point three four and five, and uh, we'll have um, artificial intelligence in our lives. So technology will dominate everything. So um, I think in these times, what we are going to do with our students is just to give our students the culture of learning and, uh, and skill building with technology as a teacher. And we should have, of course, we don't have to be the masters of uh, technology, but we should have some prior knowledge about it. So now, uh, except for these four C's, we have character, Actually, we have seven keys C's here. Now students just build their characters on social media mostly, or they involve all, all, all the social group they involve, and they they have the choice of learning. How? Uh, let's say you just couldn't go to school that day. Any of the students couldn't go to school, and then the, he missed the lesson. But then he, he goes on YouTube or Khan Academy or any other video hosting sites and watch the video and again and again, maybe. He, he, he can learn the subject on his own pace and on his own time. So school time is not so important for, for, for the students anymore. And citizenship, everything is technological. So we should have the students just improve their digital citizenship or uh, technological citizenship as well. So um, here we can just, uh, we can clearly see that the technology dominates everything and also it dominates education as well. So, because we have our, we have the world in our pockets. And uh, so uh, why is technology important? We say for us as teachers, we can create highly qualified quality, in high quality lesson plans and activities within a few clicks because we have we have 2.0 tools now just um, just remember our poll to poll maker in the beginning of this session my session so it took you almost one or two let's say 10 seconds just to answer my question but if you were in 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 a traditional class setting just remember, just just think that you have 30 students with you and you ask a question from how many of them you can get the answer within that very, very small allocated time. So um, be teachers. You, if, I, if I may ask, so um, do you think you can uh, 
come to the conclusion in a couple of minutes? Oh, yes, yes, it, it, it's almost done. OK, excellent. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, <laughs> Elena. And uh, so technology also promotes creativity and interaction between the students. But one of the important things that technology does for the students or in a class setting, so it, it gives a chance to students to collaborate and interact with each other. And also it uh, just enables students to create very meaningful activities and explore and, and develop their potential. And the, the role of technology can be just summarized in three in three items here, as, as you can see. So we, the students can access information very easily and it just speeds up learning, accelerated learning, and also it gives the students to learn in a fun environment because um, the fun factor of technology is to is uh, is it's enabling students just to collaborate with each other and also they can just go deeper in their learning and understanding difficult uh, subjects. So here uh, in that tree, you can see all the uh, roles of technology that in, in uh, active learning that, that can students just gain from here. So they, um, they just provide collaboration, personalized learning, curriculum content, and create just uh, content creation, storing data, interaction, and inclusive learning, inclusive learning environment, one of the most important roles of technology in active learning just to have all the students uh, just having their voice voices heard. So uh, just just remember our poll, just one question and I got most of your answers in just in just minutes. So interaction as we talked about and digital literacy could critical thinking and creativity are all roles of technology in active learning. And here to, this is the almost the last last uh, of the slide. So to, uh, to make this possible for the students in a pedagogical way. So there, there is, uh, you can also tag the picture. Oh, oh wait, and then maybe you can use it later. And then the slides will be shared with you. And first, the teacher does, defines the topic and choose the technology with it, and then prepare some examples and some tutorials uh, for the students, and then share the share the tools with the students. And students give the students some space, the students some time just to uh, just to try to understand the the tool, and then to improve critical thinking, just ask students what, uh, how else you can use this technology and then in groups or in pairs, they work on the topic using the technology and then they bring about some meaningful outcomes using the technology and then the teacher uh, just use uh, just uh, very differentiated uh, assessment ways to assess students uh, knowledge or students act this work process actually. Here the, the pedagogical model for the technology in active learning is I also created it a few years ago. So um, it has teachers space and the student space here, teacher and students. So teacher is responsible for creating the the tool, the 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 the, the, the activities and tasks and and the, and the technology that students going to use while doing this activity, and the students are going to do this activity using the technologies and then and then create very meaningful uh, meaningful outcomes and then formative assessment by the teacher or some differentiated assessment methods can be used here as well. And the last, this is the last, <laughs> I, I, I've been a bit fast really because the time was limited. So um, I like this, this one This always just happy to do things really. It's my model, uh, motto. The, the, the true success is not in learning, but it's in its application to the benefit of the mankind. But learning is okay, but the way you take the students learning ahead or just uh, giving them some opportunity to create their own 
skills and knowledge building that 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 stand that and that time the learning makes sense really for all of us and for all our students and you can just really ask the questions in the chat i'll try to write the answers there and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity just being too quick uh, thank you alina